Hello, everyone. Today's boat ride will be a lot of fun. Cast off the lines, hoist the sails, and let's get it on. This is a boat. And this is an all-terrain vehicle. That's great and all, but I think they'll look like this when they set sail. Try to guess who's been fishing and who's been drinking the whole trip. If people would park like this, there would be plenty of room for everyone. But there is another way to free up some space in the parking lot. Someone just lost their position on the Forbes list. I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I have an idea. <laughs> Go back! Go back! Back! This video allows us to understand the difference in size of the ships. As the waves force this 500-foot destroyer to do this, <laughs> people on the deck of the aircraft carrier didn't even flinch. Some wet tigers. <laughs> We don't even want to imagine what would have happened to this boat. Imagine if he also got a ticket for parking on the ramp. No one stands a chance in a tug of war against this guy.
It's a shame we probably won't see her video. But it's good to know that she didn't film this ship up close. Can you imagine what this fella feels right now? But kudos to those who came to the rescue. Not everyone would have had the courage to come so close. He is sailing to get a flat top haircut. If this ship does not yet have a name, it should be called Swordfish. It's amazing how this tiny thread can hold this. private party on land, and a private party at sea. This ship generates two billion seahorse power. These two ladies clearly have a plan, but their goals are different.
These sounds do not bode well. Local surfers love this guy. Even the cow knew this idea was doomed from the start. I am sure they will never open that door again. People on this ship are panicking and for a good reason. But a true captain is cold-blooded and unflappable. From 0 to 265 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds, and yet it's slower than me leaving the office on a Friday night. Accidents on an empty six-lane highway no longer seem surprising. As well as trucks stuck under bridges. On tests, this boat being lowered looks like an amusement ride, but think about what it's like to sit in it while it falls from a height of 200 feet. This rescue system also looks like a trampoline from an amusement park, but let's take a look inside. And find out that it does indeed look like a bouncy castle. I would sacrifice all my luggage to be in this place. Come on, buddy, you can do it. We believe in you. 